Hi, I'm Dr. Christiane Northrup, an OBGYN physician and authority on everything that can go right with your body. I'm here to tell you how to transform your health and truly flourish while making your life easier. Water is essential for life. Drinking water and eating enough water, which I'll get into, is crucial to maintaining every organ and system in your body. Yep, I said eating, and I'll explain. Your body works to maintain optimal hydration by using hormones to control how much you urinate and by giving your brain signals that you are thirsty. Insufficient hydration can have an adverse effect on how your body functions, and yet most people in our hemisphere live in a state of chronic dehydration despite having access to clean water. Even a 2% drop in optimal hydration can lead to cloudy thinking and fatigue, among many other symptoms. In this video, I share why hydration is so important and how you can stay hydrated for optimal health. The importance of proper hydration. You need water for every function in your body. It eliminates toxins through regular bowel movements, sweating, it produces digestive enzymes, it maintains healthy skin, hair, and organs, it helps your body absorb essential vitamins and minerals, and it carries nutrients to your cells. Adequate fluid flushes bacteria from your bladder, it prevents constipation, it regulates your body temperature, it stimulates metabolism, it lubricates your joints, and acts as a shock absorber. Fluids other than pure water don't meet your needs for hydration like water does. They don't act the same as water in your body. And now most people are slightly dehydrated from relying on other fluids besides water for their fluid intake. Caffeinated beverages, coffee, tea, sodas, and alcohol are diuretics. They actually remove water and nutrients from your body. So how do you tell if you are dehydrated? Dehydration happens when you lose more fluid than you drink. And the best way to tell if you're hydrated, urine will be clear to straw colored. It becomes progressively darker the more dehydrated you are. Honey colored urine is a sign that you need to drink more water. Dark brown urine can indicate severe dehydration. Certain medications and foods can change the color of your urine, so that may be a problem. Symptoms of dehydration are constipation, dry, sticky mouth, headache, increased thirst, few or no tears when crying, muscle tiredness, sleepiness or tiredness, and children can actually get lethargic if they're dehydrated. The symptoms of chronic dehydration have been linked to the following symptoms and disease processes, fatigue, constipation, headaches, indigestion, lack of sweating, muscle and joint aches and pains, high blood pressure, a hard, fast heartbeat, depression, allergies, lack of mental clarity, skin issues, excess weight. Severe dehydration can cause low blood pressure, dizziness, confusion, and chronic kidney disease. So who's at risk for dehydration? Older people can be at risk, Thirst sensation lessens as you grow older. You don't sense thirst as much as you did when you were younger, or you're on a medication that causes fluid loss. Diuretics, for example. Some elderly people restrict their intake of fluids out of fear of not getting to the toilet in time. Anyone can be at risk though. During summer, when you perspire more, or you live in a hot climate, or you practice hot yoga, or hot Pilates, or you exercise to the extreme, that can set you up for dehydration. So, what's the best way to stay well hydrated? Eat your water. Eating water allows hydration to get into your cells. The cerebrospinal fluid that bathes your brain is part of that hydration system, your bloodstream, gut lining, respiratory system. The work of Gerald Pollack, PhD, a water scientist and bioengineer at the University of Washington, points out that water exists in four states, solid, liquid, gas, and gel. Pollock's research showed that water in plants is more hydrating. It's far more apt to get to the right places in the body and in the cells than just plain water. Gina Bria, co-author of Quench and founder of the Hydration Foundation, has studied desert cultures. Entire populations have very little water 
and yet they are adequately hydrated. Why? From eating plants that contain water in a gel-like state. So think chia seeds or certain fruits. A smoothie will go a long way toward optimally hydrating you. So drink pure water and ensure that you get enough of it, but add something to your water to make it more hydrating. So a pinch of Celtic or Himalayan salt, some lemon, some cucumber, strawberries, watermelon. Well, how much water? It varies person to person and by how much you exercise or sweat. Whether you drink caffeine and alcohol, if you travel, especially if you fly, you need more water. General rules of thumb, drink or eat as many ounces of water every day as are equal to half your body weight in pounds. So if you weigh 150 pounds, that's 75 ounces of water per day. Drink more in hot weather or after strenuous exercise. Drink or eat until your urine is clear. Limit fluids that actually dehydrate your body, including soda, coffee, and tea, alcohol. Drink and eat water between meals. So that's like a little lemon in your water or a little Himalayan sea salt. And it's okay to drink water with meals. Digestive enzymes are hydrolytic. They're activated by water. Hydrate gradually through the day. Don't drink or eat all at once. Hydrate before, during, and after exercise. And beware of sugary sports drinks. Once you begin hydrating your body optimally, you will notice that many symptoms in your body clear up because when you're hydrated, which you can do also through exercise to move the fluid around, everything works better. For more inspirational tips, visit my blog, exploredrnorthup.com, where you'll find wisdom for your body, mind, and spirit and discover the connection between your thoughts, beliefs, physical health, and life circumstances. And remember, you are in the driver's seat of your health, and achieving health can be easier than you think.